In this tutorial, we're going to cover some ways to correct pictures for brightness, contrast, color sharpness, as well as look at cropping and decoration options in PowerPoint. To get started, let's quickly look at three ways we can get a picture into PowerPoint using copy and paste, the insert tab, and by drag and drop. Copy and paste will copy a picture from another program or document and use it in PowerPoint. The most common use I find is grabbing a picture from the web, so let's grab one for this tutorial. Open a web browser and do a Google search. Type in image to dark. And when the search comes up at the top, click on the images to go to an image search. For classes, you would want to look for open resource content and you would adjust the usage rights. To do that, you would click on the search tools and then just click on the usage rights. And you'll see that you can do a labeled for resource with modification search or whatever you need. For this tutorial though, we're just going to use this wedding picture right here. So go ahead and click on the picture and then click view image. With it open, right click on the picture and select copy image. Make sure you're not doing a copy image location because that will only select the image URL. And we want to copy the image, so select copy image. With that, let's open PowerPoint to a blank slide. Now go ahead and remove the titles and subtitles as we won't need those. Since we've copied the image, right click and select paste. You'll see that three options come up. By selecting image paste, it places it in the center. So go ahead and select paste picture. For the next way to add a picture, let's save that wedding image to the desktop from the browser using save as. I just want to save it to the desktop and I'm going to close the browser. So the next way to add a picture is to import it. Click the insert tab, then click insert picture. Browse to the picture on your computer, and for the tutorial we know it's on the desktop. Select it and click insert. The picture is added to the slide. Going to remove that and look at the last way to add a picture with drag and drop. We grab the saved picture from the desktop or any folder and simply drag and drop the image right into PowerPoint. With the photo added, let's look at options for editing. Before I do any work on a photo, I like to make a copy of it to make sure that I have an original, although the editing done in PowerPoint is non-destructive. That just means that you always have the original content and you can use undo to revert back to a previous state. But it's easy enough to make a copy just in case everything goes wrong. To do this, hold down the control key, click on the picture and drag to the side. This will bring up a small menu and select copy here. Now we have the original and we have a working copy. Looking at the sample photo, we can see it's a good picture, but it's dark and washed out. Let's look at the automatic corrections PowerPoint offers. To do this, click on the picture, and at the top, the Picture Tool tab will automatically appear. Make sure it's selected to see the format options. Now click Corrections. Here you have corrections for sharpness, then brightness and contrast. A nice feature of PowerPoint is it gives you a live preview of what the changes will be for that correction. The original is noted with a yellow box here, and as you mouse over the adjustments, you'll see the picture actually change. So let's find one, and that looks good. I kind of like that one. So click to make the change, and you can see with a simple click using automatic corrections, we've already improved the photo. Yeah, that looks good, but the color doesn't look quite right. So let's click the color button to see the options there. When you click color, you open another drop down menu. Again, you see as you mouse over the color adjustments, the picture will change. The saturation, the color tone, uh, saturation is how much color there is, and color tone is how warm, going from orange and yellow, or how cool, moving more towards blue, it will adjust. And this looks too warm to me, so I'm going to click here to cool it down, and that's good right there. And you can also do color effects using the color drop-down. Uh, you could select black and white. You could do that old photo look, the sepia tone, um, as well as other options here. But this is an area if you wanted to make the changes in color such as that, you could do it. In many cases, the corrections we've done already are more than enough to improve the picture. And you can take a look at the before and after here. And you can see how improved the adjusted picture is. But let's say you really want to fine tune a picture. The way you would do this is with the manual adjustments, and there are a few ways to get into the manual tools. The first is to select the picture, then right click and select format picture in the menu. 
This brings up the Format Picture Toolbox. This has all the different options for correcting a picture. Now you can also access the Format Picture Toolbox at the bottom of the dropdown. So here for corrections and here for color. So selecting it will bring up the toolbox and then you just select what you want. Let's look at the corrections again. We have the brightness and maybe we want to make it even a little brighter in the contrast and sharpen it up a bit. Then on color, maybe I didn't make it cool enough and I want to fine tune it a bit. There. You can still select the presets here and or you can make the small adjustments. So you can make the adjustments or fine tune them. That looks good right there and we can close the toolbox. Again, you might be done at this point, but what if you wanted to remove the folks that are just standing there? They really add nothing to the picture. We want to crop this down to only see our happy couple. To crop, make sure the picture is selected and make sure you have the Pictures Tool Format tab selected as well and find the Crop Tool. When you click on Crop, you'll see the picture handles change to dark bars. To crop the picture, all we need to do is mouse over and make sure that we have a dark bar selected. We don't want to have a white arrow on either side. That's a move. Make sure it's the dark bar. Click and drag, and as you move, you'll notice the image portion that is being removed or cropped will dim. Let's look at the side. As you move, you'll see what's going to be on the left in the picture and the dimmed out area that will be removed. To accept the crop changes, go ahead and click Crop again. And there you have cropped the picture. Remember, it's a non-destructive process, so that means that the original image information is still there. Say you haven't cropped the picture enough. If you click Crop again, you'll see the picture sections that were removed are still there. You can make the adjustments or readjust if you need to, whatever you need, and then click Crop again to finish up. So with a few clicks, we've cropped this down to just the happy couple. One last feature PowerPoint offers for photo editing is adding decorations or style. Uh, make sure you have a uh, photo selected and then make sure you're on the Pictures Tool Format tab and then we can take a look at the picture styles. For automatic styles, click the arrow to see the drop down. Again, as you mouse over, you'll see a live preview of the picture changes. You can add different picture frames, frame colors, drop shadow, tilt the picture to find what you like, and that looks good right there, so I'll select that. With a simple click, we've added a border, drop shadow, and effects to make the picture even better. Now like the other automatic corrections, you can also do manual adjustments by looking at the picture border um, or effects. And a last quick drop down over here for artistic effects, which adds different types of artistic looks. Clicking at the bottom allows you manual adjustments with the picture format too, and you can play with all that. So there are a lot of ways you can play with these pictures, and you could spend hours doing it, but again, the base tools, the automatic corrections and automatic styles will allow you to fix or stylize the picture with just a few clicks and in just a few minutes. Of course, when you're done, you need to get the picture out of PowerPoint for use. To do this, simply right-click on the picture and select Save Picture As. Browse to where you want to save the picture, give it a meaningful name, and then click to save to finish. And there you have a quality photo that you can be proud of.